The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, GRD for short, is a massive project valued at $5 billion that's being built along the Nile River, which according to Ethiopia's Office of National Coordination, is 90% complete. Construction for the mega hydroelectric dam started controversially in 2011. Due to its contentious nature, the dam has attracted a lot of attention primarily because it may have a pretty adverse impact on the biodiversity of the Nile River, along with the fact that building such a huge dam will change the flow of essential resources and water downstream to countries such as Egypt and Sudan. It's by far one of the largest and quite frankly, ambitious projects throughout Africa, raising concerns as well as giving rise to continuous water rights disputes, sustainability problems, and regional instability. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take a deep dive into the development of GRD and discuss some powerful reasons why it can have negative consequences on the environment, as well as its potential to help African nations protect against flooding, streamlined irrigation, and sediment control. The significance of the Nile River in Africa Stretching more than 6,600 kilometers, the incredible Nile has been a key source of sustenance and irrigation for several thousands of years. The river has been an ultimate source of irrigation for several countries in the African continent, including Ethiopia, Egypt, Rwanda, Sudan, Uganda, and much more. More surprisingly, the river constitutes more than 90% of the fresh water in Egypt, making it an absolutely essential source for not only drinking, but irrigation and industrial use as well. The impact of GRD on surrounding environments. Realizing the power of the Nile, it isn't a wonder that a lot of African nations that benefit from the Nile have realized that leveraging the flow of water by building a dam around it will provide them with a slew of benefits, the chief being hydropower generation. There's no question that the river's flow is ideal for producing sustainable energy, helping provide clean energy to deprived, undeveloped, and poor nations, as well as significantly reducing the need to depend on fossil fuels. However, on the flip side, experts have argued that the GRD will have an enormous, irreversible impact on biodiversity and the environment surrounding the Nile. It has already become a source of diplomatic tensions amongst nations, threatening to shake their regional stability along with disturbing the ecosystems. Upon completion, GRD will have a ginormous capacity, estimated to hold three times the total volume of Lake Tana, which is Ethiopia's largest lake. Opposers of the dam state that controlling the Nile's flow will exponentially minimize downstream water, negatively impacting both Egypt's and Sudan's agricultural industry along with greatly reducing the availability of water needed for industrial use and can potentially lead to water shortages in the future. Historical Context of Nile River Development Herodotus, a Greek historian, famously wrote that the Egyptians were essentially given land by the Nile. What he meant was the fact that the river was primarily responsible for the rise of one of the greatest civilizations in the world. How? Well, the freshwater from the Nile helped the people develop streamlined irrigation systems, using fertile soil to grow plants and vegetables. However, the Egyptians also used the river as an effective means of transportation, moving heavy materials from point A to B to construct massive buildings. More importantly, the Nile played an instrumental role in helping the Egyptians build the Great Pyramids, the enigmatic wonders of the world. By using the flow of the water channeling through cleverly made canals, workers were able to transport huge limestone blocks on boats. Some past and ongoing efforts to harness the Nile's resources for development. In terms of modern monumental projects in Africa, the building of the Aswan High Dam in the 60s was an incredible feat. The dam helps manage the flow of the Nile, helping prevent floods as well as functions as an excellent source of electricity production to Egypt. In addition, the Aswan Dam also helped create a new river system that functions as a huge reservoir, allowing Egypt to seamlessly grow its irrigation systems, boosting agricultural development. Another project that was launched in 1999, known as the Nile Basin Initiative MBI, encourages streamlined collaboration amongst nations situated near the Nile Basin, helping to promote eco-friendly development and water management treaties, ensuring all the countries have equal access to water resources. In addition, the Nile has also helped bring together countries in terms of collaborated scientific efforts in implementing conservation efforts to protect the delicate ecosystem of the Nile along with taking measures to retain its biodiversity. These initiatives primarily include things such as wetland conservation, sustainability efforts, and reducing pollution in the Nile Basin. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam GRD The GRD is being constructed near Benishangle, Ethiopia. 
The region is also in proximity to the Sudanese border 15 kilometers. The central objective of the mega dam is to harness the power of the river to sustainably create electricity hydroelectricity. The dam will play a pivotal role in helping Ethiopia considerably increase the supply of electricity which it desperately needs to expand its industries and diversify its energy resources using sustainable strategies. The country is moving towards minimizing dependence on fossil fuels and energy imports. Moreover, it also aims to export excess electricity and energy resources to neighboring countries. There's no doubt, the GRD is Africa's biggest hydroelectric dam and amongst the largest throughout the globe. Upon completion, the dam will generate a massive 5.15 gigawatts of hydroelectric power, more than enough to electrify suburban as well as rural regions in Ethiopia, making a positive impact on the lives of millions of people throughout the region and beyond. Environmental and Ecological Concerns While the GRD can certainly help Ethiopia propel its industry and effectively supply power throughout the nation, it does come with a lot of negatives. One of the chief concerns associated with building the dam is how it is going to change or modify the Nile's natural flow. You have to think about it from a broader perspective. Ethiopia will effectively command the flow of water from the river, potentially causing shortages downstream to other countries along the Nile Basin. This, in turn, can wreak havoc, cutting off the water supply necessary for irrigation, agriculture, and industrial use, inadvertently leading to intensified drought cycles which can devastate the local wildlife habitat. Another concern is the fact that the dam will also all the nutrient-dense sediment or soil that naturally flows down the river. The Nile transports a staggering amount of sediment downwards to Egypt and Sudan that will, unfortunately, be trapped by the GRD. The importance of biodiversity in the Nile region and potential threats posed by the dam. The Nile River flows across 10 African nations and is one of the most essential sources of fish production in the African continent. It plays a pivotal role in helping countries support diverse and profitable fishing economies along with being a major source of sustenance and food security. However, the real treasure lies in the nutrient-rich sediment produced by the Nile, which is important for a variety of factors such as irrigation and agriculture, pest control, and overall fertility of land. In terms of wildlife diversity, the Nile is an important natural sanctuary for numerous animal species, especially for migratory birds. Taking all this into account, it's pretty easy to see that GRD's development will automatically pose significant threats to the biodiversity of many countries near the Nile Basin. The dam may potentially cause intense drought cycles which can make it difficult for the regional wildlife to feed, breed, and migrate. Similarly, modifying the flow of water could adversely affect aquatic habitats, reducing fish populations. Political and geopolitical implications The GRD has undoubtedly caused a lot of diplomatic tensions to arise between Sudan, Egypt, and Ethiopia since its inception and gradual construction. After all, the dam does pose significant disadvantages to countries located in the Nile Basin. The primary contention is the fact that Ethiopia will control the flow of water, which could lead to well-founded insecurities such as droughts, water scarcity, impact on fisheries, etc. You have to understand that both Egypt and Sudan heavily depend on the Nile for fresh water sources, both for industrial use and drinking. A massive reduction in the supply of fresh water could have disastrous consequences for both African nations. Ethiopia, while it may have the best of intentions and want to do all it can for its people, remains unshakable in its stance on the social and economic benefits of the project. The main priority for Ethiopia is providing sustainable power to its millions of people. This is why the country is adamant in asserting its authority over the Nile, which is a major reason why all three nations, so far, are at a stalemate. This has prompted a more concentrated effort to resolve these issues, which is primarily why the African Union got involved. The AU plays a big role in helping Egypt, Sudan, and Ethiopia come to common terms and constantly find better and mutually acceptable strategies to resolve the growing problems revolving around GRD. There are significant disagreements that are yet to be solved, especially when you talk about the GRD's filling in operation, which continues to provoke unprecedented threats involving military and legal action. This, in turn, prompted both the U.S. and UNESCO involvement, both of which seek to function as optimistic mediators, brokering a treaty that involves a fair agreement between all parties. Socioeconomic and developmental aspects The GRD's primary objective is to provide hydroelectricity throughout Ethiopia, 
The dam has the capacity to produce 5.15 gigawatts of electricity, which is pretty staggering and is enough to propel the country's energy sector well into the future. You have to keep in mind a limitless, yet consistent supply of sustainably produced electricity can be massively advantageous for Ethiopia's industrialization. Not to mention, it can help attract foreign direct investment, help diversify the country's economic activities in a variety of sectors, and increase the rate of employment. In addition, controlling the flow of water through the reservoir can also play a big role in helping Ethiopia propel its agricultural and irrigation projects, optimizing its national agro-production, and leading to growing levels of food security. Moreover, the country can also look into exporting its food and agricultural products, gradually expanding its foreign reserves. The socio-economic considerations and the impact on local communities. There's no question that GRD has a staggering potential to help millions of people in Ethiopia access electricity, especially the rural population many of whom don't even have electricity. The hydroelectric dam can be an excellent way for Ethiopia to achieve economic optimizations by creating jobs, attracting international businesses, and creating social welfare systems to combat its rampant poverty. However, it's also important to understand that the creation of the dam has had massive implications for the local communities, the biggest of which is community displacement. A project of this scale involves uprooting people, and compelling them to relocate, all of which can have a very detrimental effect on their standard of living. Mitigation and Conflict Resolution Helping to alleviate the tensions arising from GRD requires an encompassing approach that involves a variety of factors, such as equity negotiations, mutual cooperation and acceptance, and the implementation of mutually beneficial strategies. For example, Sudan, Egypt, and Ethiopia have to sit down and push for trees, focusing on the regulation of the dam's filling and operation. They have to address how they can equally share the water resources of the Nile fairly. Moreover, the mitigation efforts should also involve constant mediation, efforts from global and local organizations, such as the African Union, and the United Nations, both of which can play a monumental role in helping establish a powerful sense of trust and cooperation as well as offer technical expertise.